Mifo just entered the premium market with their Fiti Hi-Fi Dots, which is priced at $200. Though it is a little cheaper than the AirPods Pro and the Bose QC2, but it is similarly priced to the widely popular Sony XM4 when they are on sale. So in this video, let me tell you what you get for that money from the Hi-Fi Dots. Out of the box, you get some standard items. You get a MIFO branded USB-A to USB-C charging cables, some documentation and two different size ear tips and that's about it. Design wise, the first thing I noticed was the bronze detailing on the case and then how heavy the Hi-Fi dots were. They have almost an egg-like shape with a shiny metal construction which feels really nice to hold and seems very durable as well. But I like how they don't pick up any fingerprint smudges. Also, the overall footprint of the case is very small, so I'm sure that it will fit in any pocket. The most unique thing about the Hi-Fi Dots are how the case opens up. It's almost like a rocket. I can see that there is a spring at the hinge which enables this motion, but this means if you get water inside the case then it could potentially damage them. However, the good thing is that the earbuds themselves are IPX7 waterproof rated, so you don't have to worry about water damage with them at all. But because of the open interior, it's best to dry the earbuds completely before putting them back in that case. And to take the earbuds out of the case, you need to push them to the side and then pull them out. While this means that there is a bit of a learning curve here, as the Hi-Fi dots don't behave like any other normal earbuds, but this design makes sure that the earbuds never pop out accidentally. They are the most secure cradle system on a case that I have tested thus far. The earbuds also have LEDs on the side which I first thought indicates battery life but as it turns out I think it shows connectivity status. You can either turn it off via the app completely or have it flashing in different ways when music is playing. I used the Hi-Fi dots with the medium sized ear tips which seemed to be working well for me as it never came off and I got a very tight seal. It was also comfortable as the earbuds are feather light at just 4 grams. But different people have different shapes of ears, so you can go through the earplug test within the app to find out which size earplugs suits you the best or how you should wear them. I have seen this feature on a few flagships before, so it's good to see that Mifo and Fiti has brought this here as well. On my test, I got 4 hours of battery life from the Hi-Fi Dot earbuds with music blasting over the ASC codec from my iPhone at 70% volume with ANC on. With the case, I was able to recharge them 4 more times. So that brings the total battery life to around 20 hours, which is not too bad. Because if you compare these numbers against the AirPods Pro, then you will see that the Hi-Fi dots are only 4 hours behind. Although they do not offer wireless charging, which I think is due to the shape of the case, they do offer fast charging. Which means with an appropriate power brick, you can recharge the Hi-Fi dots fully around 1.5 hours, including the case. And connectivity wise, Fiti made sure that the Hi-Fi dots brought the goods. Because not only do they support AAC and SBC codec, but you will also get support for aptX adaptive. Which means you can stream some high quality lossless music at 24 bits. Also there is a gaming mode that reduces the latency to up to 68 milliseconds. Generally, acceptable latency is anywhere around 40 to 60 milliseconds or lower, while a speed of over 100 milliseconds will usually mean you will get a noticeable lag in gaming. So in that aspect, the Hi-Fi dots are not bad at all. And when you combine that with their support for Bluetooth 5.3 and multipoint connectivity between two devices, you will then really start to see how much technically advanced the Hi-Fi dots really are. The Hi-Fi dots have touch controls on the surface on the earbuds, you can play or pause music or control volume or skip between tracks. I guess the only place I would see room for improvement is in auto pausing, because right now when you take out the earbuds, the music does not automatically pause. So I hope with a future firmware update, Mifo brings this feature to us. Other than that, I love the app. There are a lot of customization options to personalize the earbuds to suit your needs. The Hi-Fi Dots have adaptive noise cancelling which will detect your surrounding to auto adjust the level of noise cancellation. But you can also manually change these settings between mild and strong noise cancellation and the transparency mode. At the highest level of ANC, the Hi-Fi Dots can cancel around 47 dB worth of noise which is competitive with the likes of AirPods Pro who can cancel around 60 dB worth of noise. But 47 dB of noise cancelling is all it takes to effectively cancel noises that you get on long haul flights and on your everyday commute. But if you manage to get a good seal then the passive noise cancellation along with the adaptive noise cancellation can dampen surrounding sound even more. 
The hi-fi dots have a warm sound signature, so you will get a little bit more color on the treble end. But there is a companion app with a 9-band equalizer if you want to change the settings and amp up the bass if you want to. On my ears, I think the mids are perfect where your lead instruments or the vocals of a song lies. So I did not have to make any changes there as the vocal sounded always sharp. I felt like that the default equalizer is good for new age music like pop or alternative genre but did not lend well to EDM or classical music or rock so well. So I made a slight tweak on the equalizer which I think sounded very good to my ears and I think it works for all genres. Also another thing I noticed is that on strong noise cancelling mode and on transparency mode you get a bigger soundstage with more power in bass and volume than the mild ANC mode. So of course my tip to bass heads or people who like their music loud would be to use my equalizer settings with strong and transparency ANC modes. But overall I think the sound is pretty good and if you can pair it up with the aptX codec then you will be able to take full advantage of the latest Qualcomm 3071 chip that the Fiti Hi-Fi dots are rocking inside which can then deliver high fidelity audio over Bluetooth than your regular codecs. Testing the microphone of the MIFO Fiti Hi-Fi dots. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. From the sample that I took earlier, I think the hi-fi dots will be very good for taking calls outside or in environments where there is a lot of background sound. I liked how they focused on the voice even when there was a lot of distractions around me. I also liked how they muffled the nearby sound of moving traffic. This level of performance is certainly up there with the best of the best. The Fiti Hi-Fi dots from Mifo is a great alternative to a lot of flagship earbuds. They have a unique design and some top features such as adaptive ANC that works very well for everyday situation. They have also amazing call quality and a 9-band equalizer that lets you make the sound coming out of these earbuds truly pop. The battery and the connectivity options are also good, so I think $200 is justified. But is it justified for you? Please let me know that on the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafis signing off till next week. Peace.